Don't work on Santa Fe Fashion Week's eighth annual sponsorship package here at uh, Einstein's. Sandia BMW Mini to meet my good friend Patrick Baldonado. He's doing a photo shoot during the Young Albuquerque Professional. Let's see what Patrick is up to. Welcome, Stephen. Glad you guys made it. We're actually here at Sandia BMW. We're here for the uh, Young Professional Network event, but we're Style Southwest Fashion Magazine, and we're doing a full fashion photo shoot here. Uh, we're working with some of the ladies while this event's going on. Uh, just amazing to have the opportunity to shoot uh, such a superb vehicle like this. And superb, wonderful models. We do have uh, our wonderful Claudia Shea over here. Uh, Lisa will also be featured, featured in the uh, in Destiny Mendoza. So we had some really great models show up. So very excited about what we got here tonight. Thank you. So it was really great seeing you at BMW for the photo shoot with Patrick Baldonado. Oh yeah, I had an awesome time. That was really <laughs> cool. And uh, also appreciate you modeling for our eBay store. Of course. You're a great supporter of Always. the American so I appreciate that. So recently you modeled in New York. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, yes, I actually modeled for Richard Hallmark, um, a great designer. Every outfit I wear of his is, feels like it's made for me. Um, I actually got to model with some of America's Next Top Models. They were on a show and one of the winners actually, Naima Mora. Yeah, she was at G-Model for Santa Fe Fashion Week early on. Yeah, also Erin um, Green was also involved. Uh, awesome. They're amazing, they're very sweet girls. Um, I actually felt like I was at their level. Very nice, I like that. Um, but it's probably my confidence level <laughs> of myself. So let's talk a little bit about your background. Okay. Um, as far as modeling, um, uh, so when I was around maybe eight or nine, I would always watch America's Next Top Model every day, every season. And just, you know, commercial would come, I would be walking up and down my hall, <laughs> practicing my walk. Uh, that's when I kind of knew I wanted to do modeling. And uh, here I am today, <laughs> continuing that. <laughs> so do you still dance a bit? Do you dance a lot? Oh yeah, I love to dance okay. still. Yeah. Um, it helps my background actually with the walking. It gives it a little sass, a little taste to it, not just a basic walk. So you met Richard through Santa Fe Fashion Week? Yes, my first year actually. I walked for him. Um, I don't remember exactly what I wore, but I do remember the second year I had. Actually, I do remember. It was a black dress thing. And actually, um, I think someone bought it that day. Oh wow, that's interesting. Yeah, and then this the second year, also someone had bought the outfit I had one for as well. So what's your hopes and dreams as far as modeling going forward? Um, I really want to be in the Victoria's Secret fashion show at least once in my lifetime. Um, I believe I can do it, whether it's this year or next year, it's going to happen. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, so everyone watch out. <laughs> yes. So are you doing any networking or how are you trying to make that happen? Um, right now, so far, I'm just trying to get into a really good agency that will help me get there. Okay. But other than that, um, you know, just keep 
networking, you keep meeting new people, keep discovering what other opportunities are out there because you never know who you're going to meet. Yeah, you just got to keep uh, Brand yeah. Are you are you pretty active on uh, Instagram? Do you want to tell people your Instagram? Um, yeah, my name is Julissa J U L I S S A underscore Grajeda G R A J E D A. Um, same goes for my Facebook. Um, I am not always active, but I am pretty active sometimes. So you guys can go ahead and check out my stuff there. Well, we always appreciate your, your time with us. Of your course. Day. I'm here at the Santa Fe Film Festival, Jean Cocteau Theater, which is owned by George R. R. Martin, the writer of Game of Thrones. My good friend Billy Ward is showing his documentary, award-winning documentary, Rhino Shield. So let's go inside and see what's happening. Showing tonight at the Santa Fe Film Festival. Billy, can you tell us a little bit about your movie? Yeah, the, it's called Rhino Shield South Africa, and it's about VETPA, uh, veterans empowered to protect African wildlife, and they do counter poaching operations in South Africa. Okay, so what, when was this movie released? It was released in December 2017, so it's ran the uh, film festival circuit all 2018 and running into 2019 now, February, so it's done real well. And I understand you won a couple of awards? Yeah, it's won um, several awards. It's won um, Best Documentary, Best Conservation Documentary, and Best Director. Uh, it's won for uh, Cinematography and uh, Director and Long Form and the Emmys, those three. And uh, it's, uh, it's doing real well, so I I'm really happy about that and that it can raise awareness to uh, what's happening out there. Okay, first things first, my good friend Dennis has been giving me some grief about these U-Haul boxes in the background. So last night I had the great fortune of watching my good friend Billy Ward's film, Rhino Shield, which is a documentary about post 9-11 veterans who risked their lives to go to South Africa to protect wildlife. They're also known as VEDPAW. I highly recommend the movie. It was very interesting. I'll put a link below. 